it's weird to suggest that to me that the pathway to victory is reassembling the Obama coalition because one, it seems basically not possible. And two, it's not how they won in 2020. Yeah. I mean, to me, the, the, perhaps you could say that in some ideal world for Democrats, it would be getting halfway between the Biden coalition and the Obama coalition, but trying to take the best parts of each, right? That's like, maintaining or even increasing support among college educated white voters, but also improving turnout among voters of color and getting back to the margins that that Obama had among uh, black voters, Latino voters, the whole the whole nine yards. Um, young voters. And, and yes, and young voters. I mean, Biden did very well among young voters. It's just slightly better with Obama. And then just also the the at you know at the end of the day the percentage of the electorate that is uh that that is made up by people of color slowly but surely inches up every four years so all those factors combined would seemingly point to well if you can take kind of the best of the obama coalition but hold on to what biden's been doing with white voters with a college degree that would give you a winning electoral coalition uh, whether or not you can do that, of course, is is a million dollar question. I do think, you know, to the, the point about Biden and white voters without a college degree, it's it's one of those things where if you look at some of the state level data, because I remember doing this after 2020, he did improve on Clinton's performance pretty regularly in a lot of counties that had a large share of the population that was white without a college degree. But again, it was like, three points, four points, which to be clear was not too different from the overall national swing uh, of, you know, Clinton by two to Biden by four and a half. And so it's, it you know, the fact that Biden might have done just marginally better, but that mattered in a state like Wisconsin or, or Michigan or Pennsylvania because of the margins, were, the margins were so tight in those places. And those states are wider than the country as a whole. So I think that's where you get into the questions about if Harris has a path to victory, what does it look like? Is it still through the Rust Belt states? Is it more like she could actually make Georgia and Arizona more competitive and Nevada than they were looking because Biden seemed to be struggling more in those places, which are more diverse than the country as a whole, generally speaking? That And that, that's like the thing that's going to be really interesting to follow is sort of what what does that look like? And is, does Harris end up actually being a little strong in the Sun Belt, but not strong enough? but a little weaker in the Rust Belt, but such that actually that makes it more difficult for her to win those states. And so Democrats end up in a less optimal <laughs> situation, right? And that that's, of course, really yeah. hard to know at this point. Scan this QR code to go to the Apple and Spotify podcast apps to download the full 538 Politics podcast.